So do you have milk in your food storage? Why should you store it? How much do you need? How to store it? Did you freeze it, dehydrate it, or buy shelf-stable products? Stay tuned. Now most of us have grown up hearing that milk does a body good and it makes strong bones and there's some truth to that. Um, let's look at the nutrition in this organic vitamin D enhanced whole milk. So there's about 150 calories in a cup and the calories from fat in whole milk is 70 calories. So almost half. So we know it has fat, it's whole milk, it has cholesterol, it has quite a bit of sodium, potassium, a little carbohydrates, no dietary fiber, some sugars, and vitamin D is put in the milk, but it naturally has vitamin A, vitamin C, 30% of calcium, and riboflavin, B12, and phosphorus. So you'll notice in the, well, it's no longer a pyramid, food pyramid, it's a food plate showing the portions that you should have, but it's still showing dairy as a requirement. Well, I'm not gonna lecture you on this, but the truth is milk has a lot of good nutrients in it. It probably doesn't live, live up to all the hype from the Dairy Council. And across the world, areas that don't drink milk have less fractures than those in the United States. So, you know, probably doesn't help that, but does have a lot of nutrients for you. And in most areas of the world, once a baby gets done having breast milk from its mom, that's the last time it is getting milk. So this is something more situated to uh, United States and other countries that have a like food pyramid. So how much should you store? Okay, so personally, I don't like milk at all. I don't like the taste of it. Um, you know, hey, I don't mind it in ice cream or a smoothie, but uh, yeah, never have liked milk. And even as a young child, uh, my parents would have to put a little bit of strawberry quick in it, so I'd drink the milk. Just never liked the taste. Plus, I suffered a lot from um, sinus problems and allergies when I was younger, and milk makes a lot of phlegm. So I have never drank much milk. Um, Instead, grew up where iced tea was my preferred beverage. But I still store milk. I still need milk. I need it when the grandkids come over. I need it for baking. There's a lot of things that you still need milk for, even if you don't drink it personally. So let's talk about milk storage. According to an LDS site, it recommends that families may want to only store 16 pounds of milk per person. But if they do that, they should increase their storage of grains from the recommended 300 pounds per person to 400 pounds per person to compensate nutritionally for this change. So why am I telling you all this? Well, the amount of milk you need to store is gonna depend on what your needs are. If you have young children, they love milk, great. If you have teenagers and they guzzle milk by the gallon, that's fine too. It has to meet what you have. But for us, eh, milk is more for cooking and maybe making up a smoothie or the grandkids come over and I give them some milk. So, you know what happens? Milk goes bad quickly. I have it in my refrigerator and then I look at the expiration date and I'm going, oh. Do that smell test and it's like, ugh, it's bad. So I have some ways that I store milk. So I always have it on hand and I don't have to depend on that refrigerated milk, which could go bad. Okay, my number one way of storing milk is by freezing it. And let me show you. I have the silicone muffin pan and each of the little muffin areas are half a cup. So I pour my milk in here and then I'm going to freeze it and I will have six half cup servings. I'll be back when I take it out of the freezer to package it. So here they are, all nice and frozen. Is there a little bit of leakage? Yes, because probably where I put them in the freezer was exactly 
level. And the nice thing about these is it's much easier to get something out. You see this? You just push them. And it pops right out. Pretty neat. Now I'm going to put these into my vacuum sealer bags. Pop out another one. There we go. And now I have my bag and I have equal to one cup milk and I'm going to vacuum seal it. Be right back. Now one thing I want to warn, it's best not to store it in the same paper carton it comes in. Um, it's better if you have the plastic milk carton, store it in that, but leave at least an inch and a half at the top so milk will expand when it freezes and so you don't have a mess in your freezer. So here we go. We just want to write on it. Today, let's say February 21, two one half cup milk. There we go. And now this is going to go in my freezer and hopefully I'll use it up before six months pass. Now that frozen milk can be stored in the freezer for up to six months they say. I've stored it longer it seemed to be fine. Um, when you do take it back out you do have to Thaw it in the refrigerator or in ice water. Just don't leave it out on the countertop. It's the same way that you thaw out meat. You have to be careful. You don't want bad bacteria in your milk. And when you thaw it out, you're going to have to mix it up real well. Um, I, as you saw, was freezing whole milk. That's the only kind of milk I generally buy. And I mean, if you're going to have milk, you at least might as well have the good stuff, right? So, but because of that, that fat can separate more and what I have found is a little immersion blender really mixes it up well. Does freezing affect the taste? Um, I can't tell you because I don't like it to begin with, right? But it could slightly, but it's really not that noticeable and it's just excellent for your cooking. But there are other ways to also store milk. Now, some people dehydrate milk. Um, I don't. It takes a long, long time in your dehydrator, especially if you have whole milk. Um, I think it's easier just to buy powdered milk. It's just something that I don't feel is worth the time or effort or money to actually dehydrate it. Especially when you can buy. Here we go. Instant dry milk. This is just the store brand. Uh, gee, I bought it last year and it says it's to August of 22, so might have had like almost a two year shelf life on it. And if I did need milk for a recipe, I could use this instant dry non fat milk. Now that is instant milk. This is powdered milk. This is the Nestle brand. It is dry whole milk. So depending on what you're making with it, this will probably taste better than that powdered milk. And this has a chef, let's see, I bought this a couple weeks ago and it's to April 22, so over a year shelf life. Not bad. Now, where can you find this? I found it at Walmart. Um, but you have to look. There's a lot of different kinds of Nido, you know, for kids at certain ages. Anyway, so sometimes this is available, and this was five dollars and fifty-eight cents for a this a fourteen point one ounce can. You can also get this on Amazon, but it's pretty expensive. But that's one way. Rather than home dehydrating, you can have whole powdered milk in your pantry. Now there is a little bit of difference between instant milk and powdered milk. Instant milk is what it says. It, you add it, mix it up, and it dissolves and you've got milk. Powdered milk, which is kind of like if you get it from um, the LDS cannery that is powdered milk, 
it's better to mix it up and put it in the refrigerator overnight uh, to really get the taste. And some people also add just a little vanilla in it to get a good taste. It just takes longer to actually turn into milk. No matter what variety of powdered milk you're buying, you can make a lot of neat things with it. You could make butter, but you do have to add some oil. So to me, eh, you know, I guess you're making butter, but you're adding oil. Um, you can make a lot of different sauces, and you can even make yogurt and cheese with powdered milk. So it's a good thing to keep on your pantry shelf. But there are also shelf-stable, canned or packaged varieties of milk. Now, for those of you that go to the Dollar Tree, I think you've seen this, and it's one dollar, and it is grade A, vitamin D, whole milk. Sometimes you have to look, because a lot of times they have the um, non-fat version, but it's only a dollar, and I don't know when I bought this, but it, it's about a year's shelf life. At Walmart, I bought it La La brand whole milk, and it's one quart. Also, I think this was over two dollars though. But again, shelf stable, you don't have to have any refrigeration, and you've got whole milk. That's pretty neat. And of course, most of you have some evaporated milk, which you can use for milk. It doesn't taste like regular refrigerator milk, um, but it's excellent for recipes. And you might have some media crema. Am I saying that right? Again, a Nestle product, which is more uh, found in Hispanic stores. And it is called table cream. Now this media cream is excellent, of course, for adding to your coffee but also for making sour cream, for making buttermilk, and an excellent Alfredo sauce. So it is something you might want to keep on your shelves, but you cannot make this into a whipped cream. It doesn't have enough fat content. I think it has like 18% fat, which is even more than your whole milk, but it does, I think you need 30% fat to have whipping cream. But you can also have shelf-stable whipping cream. You can find this at Trader Joe's. It works excellent. Uh, I'll show you a snippet of a video I made before when I used this and made butter from it, and the butter tasted fantastic. So, this was kind of fun, and we actually did make butter from it, and it tastes good. And you know, by making butter this way, you can decide how much salt you want. And it's really, really good. So if you can't store a lot of butter in your freezer the way I do, this is a great thing to have. And it has um, probably about a six month shelf life. And of course, if you want sweetened condensed milk, again, more for baking, but that is something also to keep on your shelves. I should mention that the LDS uh, powdered milk that you can get through their website or the cannery has an up to 20 year shelf life. So that's an excellent shelf life. Part of me wonders if they have that shelf life, why don't other ones like this have it? If I vacuum pack this, would I have a long shelf life? I don't know. I also should mention that some people can milk, but it's not going to taste like milk from the refrigerator because it has been canned at a high temperature for a long period of time. You know, you're pressure canning it. And again, just like that dehydrating of milk, there could be safety concerns. It could have bad bacteria in it. And Again, it's time consuming. I suppose if you have your own cow, that is something to consider. 
but to me the safety concerns and the fact that we just don't use that much milk means even though I'm an avid canner I do not can milk. So that's it for milk storage. I'd love to hear what you do for your milk storage. What do you store? Do you store a lot of powdered milk? Do you buy it in a can instead? Do you like whole fat, fat milk or do you like skim milk? Or do you buy the package milk for storage? What do you do? Comment below and as always thank you so much for watching.